Well, welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. Early this morning, we've got a customer who's bringing his car by. I've been doing a lot of these littler jobs, filming the littler jobs recently. Uh, we'll probably do some bigger ones soon, uh, filming wise. It just takes a lot more to set everything up. So he's got uh, engine running real rough. Ever since he went to the car wash yesterday, he replaced his spark plug wires and that didn't solve his problem. So we're gonna take a look at it for him and uh, see what's going on. I'm expecting it to be uh, misfire so he should be here soon and we're gonna dig in take a look at it and see if we can get his car back on the road running in tip-top shape for him all right so here we are with the vehicle it's running pretty rough I'm gonna put my computer on it and see we've got the check engine light turned on and uh, we'll see what the codes are and get this going so we've got a cylinder four misfire detected first thing I'm gonna do is just um, get it running and I'm gonna pull the spark plug wire on that and see if it changes um, just to make sure it's just on that cylinder. If it runs the same when I pull that, obviously it's not firing on that cylinder, but it is running pretty rough. I'll show you here. Yeah, if you can't see that, maybe the RPMs will give you an idea, but real rough. All right, so that's running the same when I pull that. I actually don't hear any sparks uh, jumping and shorting to that wall there. Like you do, you hear there, you hear how the sparks are jumping there. So I don't think it's getting spark on that cylinder. Now it's connected to that spark plug. It should be shorting to the, to the wall here, but this one's not giving any spark. So I could put a spark tester on there, but I can hear that it's not giving any spark. Um, so it's probably this coil pack, unfortunately. All right, so here we are. I just tested the connector going to the coil pack here, um, which you can do on individual coil packs. A lot of engines have separate coil packs for each cylinder. This one is one unit. So the fact that the other three are working and one isn't already tells you, hey, this coil pack's bad. Um, but just to be sure, I tested the wiring. It's good. So we've got a bad coil pack here. We're gonna head down to the junkyard. If you remember in a recent episode before my channel was hijacked, uh, we did the alternator in this vehicle. So we're gonna head back over to that same junkyard and put a coil pack in it. And uh, yeah, it's weird that it happened at the car wash basically, but maybe some water splashed up here, shorted something. Not likely, could just be coincidence. Uh, but regardless, we know this coil pack's bad now. So we'll go get that new coil pack out of the junkyard. And uh, we know that vehicle was running when it was put in there because it was crashed. So that's a good donor vehicle to get parts off of. And uh, we'll see you down there. We'll head over there, it's about 10 minutes away. All right, for this job, we're gonna need one tool, a 10 millimeter uh, Chave in Espanol. What's this called? Um, wrench. So I'll meet you over there. All right, somewhere back in there, we gotta go find our car. But oh, we were out here last week. I didn't think there was any junkyards left that left batteries in the vehicles, but my friend here pulled a battery out of a vehicle last week and here's one busted up right here. So that's pretty dangerous. Oh, aquí está. Found it. All right, here we go. We've got the same coil pack here. All we need is our 10 millimeter wrench and uh, we'll get this off real quick.
All right, I think I found a vehicle with the same coil pack right here that looks a, a bit newer. So I'm gonna double check these. I'll get the VIN number probably off of this and just Google it real quick and see what kind of vehicle is this. Dodge, it should be the same. Yep, I'm guessing this one's the same, but a bit newer. So crashed as well, that's why it's in the junkyard. I always wanna look for one that's crashed because you never know if the part you're getting off of it's the part that caused it to be in the junkyard or not. But we'll get this coil pack. All right, this is the exact same coil pack. And uh, this, this vehicle is in super good shape. You can see how clean it is, but there's also dielectric grease here underneath uh, those spark plug wires. So somebody had taken care of it or tried their best at least. So we're gonna go for this one. Plus it's easier to get the bolts off of the back. All right, here we are. We've got the new coil pack. You don't want to drop these. They're a little sensitive. So we'll take care of this and take it out of the junkyard here. Get it on the car. <laughs> He's so... All right, so we got the new coil pack on. Here's the old one. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start this up and hear her run a lot better. Okay. There you have it. If you can hear it, it's running a lot better. That's a job well done. All right, well, there you have it. That's a job well done. Uh, we got that coil pack change. It's running great. I knew it was that cool pack as soon as I pulled that spark plug wire and it wasn't uh, shorting over to that cylinder, that spark plug well. And uh, they were new spark plug wires, so it could have been an issue with the spark plug wire if they were older. But I checked that spark plug wire, it had everything it should have had with it. So uh, we came over here, we got that replaced. And uh, again, that's a job well done. It feels good to get that diagnosed correctly, get the part on. And uh, we came to the junkyard because he's just trying to save money. He's gonna sell the car and get a new one. and. Uh, yeah, just in college. So uh, it was $10 for that coil pack. Normally I don't do junkyard stuff for people just for the risk of it going out in the future. But we did, we got that alternator last week for him for like 15 bucks or 10 bucks, super cheap. That coil pack was 10 bucks. So uh, for a few friends like that who aren't gonna blame me in the future if it goes wrong, I'm willing to go down to the junkyard and pull apart for them. So uh, we got that done. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, consider subscribing to support the channel and we'll see you on the next episode.